What's up? So, quick review of Interstellar. Uh, I'll just say when it comes to my mind. I think that's the quickest and best way. So, if you're watching a movie theatre, invariably there's going to be disruptions. There's going to be at least one guy, and there was one guy that went to the bathroom halfway through obviously blocking the screen um i haven't even got into the movie yet so let me go into the non-movie things first uh, i'm glad i paid for a vip seat didn't have any blockers in front of me i thought i might have a kicker behind me but i did not um he was kind of to the side of me so I didn't really feel anything uh, couples so annoying and it's not even the guys it's always the girls that start chatting first about some kind of thing that they observe on, on in the movie theatre at that particular scene um, I think two couples just left halfway through maybe it was just too intellectual for them okay coming to the movie uh, Christopher Nolan uh, I watched it in a kind of directorial sense so I didn't really enjoy it as a viewer I was looking at it as more of a piece of art where I kind of want to learn from his skills um, things like lens flares J cuts, L cuts um, abrupt cuts splicing together two scenes happening at once many many things I took away from this movie definitely have to see it again um, I liked how maybe 15-20 minutes in you still don't quite know what's happening uh, you think it's going one way then it doesn't go that way uh, I will say one part of the movie kind of annoyed me um so Anne Hathaway's character <clears throat> uh, is exploring, looking for um, some kind of black box for some data. Uh, and then a wave comes, which is going to basically uh, kill her. And her leg gets stuck underneath some... Uh, spaceship debris and then they send a robot in to come and rescue her so my thinking is why couldn't they just have sent the robot to collect the black box instead yeah um, there are a few minor things like that within the film where I thought this is just a plot device in order to create emotion um, there's going to be some scientific inaccuracies but this is a movie so I'll accept that for what it is really it's not really a factual lesson about quantum physics and string theory etc etc it's more an entertainment piece mm. perhaps um, what did I want to say? Okay, yeah, so before this movie, uh, the one blow away movie which everyone says you have to see is Gravity um, because of its visual effects, etc. Uh, I think. This does not compare to Gravity at all on a, in a good way because Gravity was just a poor attempt to convey a story in space. This is in space, but it, it went through dimensions and different aspects of theory of time, relativity, very interesting stuff. Again, it is a story, it is a movie, so it is a work of fiction. 
and drawing some kind of scientific science behind it just for all the science buffs out there they're probably quite annoyed at certain things but then you're just really picking at stuff because i don't think that's what nolan's message was nolan's message was more about faith in humanity and how humanity finds a way without giving too much away um plan to watch this again it has to be in the IMAX because the visuals were amazing. Watched it in a movie theater where apparently it was decked out for sound, um, and it did make a big difference having a good sound system. I'm not talking like Dolby surround or anything. I'm talking like some seriously good effects. Like my seat was vibrating at the right times, uh, even when I knew that uh, something surprising was going to happen, like an explosion, I still jumped in my seat, which is amazing. I've only got good things to say about this movie. A few minor things here and there, which I've already mentioned. Um, the pluses outweigh the negatives. Uh, I'm trying to be more critical about it, but I really can't. Um, can't really say <clears throat> anything negative about the movie um, um, it was probably wise of me to watch it at a slightly earlier viewing I went for the 5pm viewing rather than 7pm or 9pm because I knew it would be rammed. It is It is opening night after all. Check the IMDb. And it has currently a 9.2 rating. Which is amazing. Um, I do feel that this will be a movie for future film students, directors, producers, etc. Who will look at this movie and draw from it uh, I'll skim through a couple of the reviews <clears throat> uh, on IMDb some mentioned that it was a bit of Kubrick a bit of this a bit of that but I don't think so I think probably with Nolan's filmography cinematography with his angles with his suspense as well as um, with the background, OST. Everything was put together uh, as a masterpiece, really. I'm really glad I saw it opening night. And the movie made you think about possibilities after I left the theatre. So. Yeah, again, only good things to say about this movie. I guess if I do think of anything that comes up, which I haven't mentioned, I'll make a supplemental. And I'll probably do a, another review when I do watch it again, whether it be on Blu-ray or, again, at the IMAX. Um, I, I have no idea. Can't really compare this to Dark Knight because Dark Knight was part of a trilogy and... Um, it, again, it, there had there had certain expectations with the, uh, that whole series, but this uh, is a standalone. Um, maybe if you didn't really get Inception, then you won't really get this. Not to say that if you loved Inception, you will love this. However, if you have some intellect and you can appreciate the ideas and the world within Inception, then you can understand the world within Interstellar. Peace out.